This is a Gorilla Podcast Network production. Welcome to the Late Night Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Late Night Potluck Show, episode 21. This is your host, Dave, hanging out here with the crew, coming at you from Night Owl Studio. Uh, Cool guest tonight. I see some good food, some treats. I'm excited. Yo, Manny, let's start off with you, since mm-hmm. you're the only one there sitting in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you're going to start with me, all right. All right, yo, what's on your mind? What's on my mind? My mind, uh, I got a few things on my mind. One, first of all, OG, my fault for last episode, not showing up. But <laughs> they finna get it this episode. You know, I was talking all that trash. All right, so Dave, preparate. All right, <laughs> you're gonna get it. Um, I'm excited because this is actually, if you look back at all the episodes, this is my first sweets episode. Uh, our guest here has some sweets along with a variety of other delicious, savory food. Um, but uh, it's gonna be my first sweets episode, and kind of, you know, we were talking about it earlier. I'm not not a huge sweets person, so I wasn't too mad about missing those episodes. But uh, I don't know. I'm kind of excited to try those sweets out, and um, can't wait till my buddy Riel finally shows up so I can love mm. him and say hi to him. Well, we had only one episode with sweet, and that was Marshall brought in that that lava cake. Mm. No, no, negative. Uh, and you, so you've been here every episode. <laughs> Chef Raquel brought lava the lava cake. cake, and then Marsha brought in uh, the olive oil. olive oil cake. Yep, olive oil cake. So, mm-hmm. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I may not be here, but I listened to the episode, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yo. My name is not Vito, all right? Vito. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to shout out what's uh, what's on your mind? Anything going on? Um, at the moment, no. Just, you know, staying up at the farmer's market. Um, I'm trying to get a... I decided I want to do a breakfast a food cart now. So that's on my mind. Breakfast food that, cart? That's it. That's dope. That's dope. Um, a little bit uh, expanding the menu. Yes, for sure, for sure, definitely expanding the menu. I'm uh, coming up with my own pancake mix. Hopefully, experiment with some fruit. See how that goes. And the the, the, the Filipino king is here. The <laughs> Filipino king, my buddy Riel. I was just talking about you, Riel. Come on in. I missed you, buddy. You're finally here. Yeah. How's it going? Very good. What's on your mind, Real? You just walked right just into this. my breath for a while. So. Uh, so Vito was talking about making his own pancake uh, mix. He's doing his own little concept on some pancakes. But now that you're here, week. we got to go back to Manny. Um, we're all waiting to hear how was that longanista because I know you missed the show. I'm trying to listen to Vito's pancake story first. <laughs> Don't no, demand no, me to do nothing after the last episode. The last show. All right. What happened? I'm done with my pancake mix. I want to know, too. Oh, you want to know about last? Oh, the share. longanisa. The longanisa you did not uh, share. Oh, so all right. So I don't know if uh, many of our listeners listened to episode eighteen or nineteen. See that one? I get messed up. 20. The numbers was it twenty? Kawit was twenty. Oh, my bad. Nineteen. No, nineteen. 19 yeah. So if you remember, we had some. Uh, Kawit brought some longanisa, some Filipino sausage, and uh, I loved it. So I mean, we loved everything so much. I actually had an event I was gonna do uh, like two weeks later. Actually, I was like, you know what? What should I make? I want to make something. You know, usually my friends want me to make something ethnic. So right. I'll bring something ethnic. Usually it's empanadas. But, but you know, so um, I was like, yo, but I don't want to make your traditional, like, empanadas. You know, I like to mix things up with food. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can make some uh, empanadas with uh, some of that longanisa. So I hit mm, up Kawi. Yeah, I hit up Kawi, and uh, they were, like, super, like, yeah sure of course how much do you need i was like and in my head i'm like oh maybe a pound because i actually ran into them at area two like a few days later because they were tasting some of the new beers that were going to be paired with their um, pop-up that was happening okay on oh my god what date 24th the 24th it was that weekend right it was that a weekend of the 24th so they were there ran into us oh i don't know maybe a pound like i didn't think of it 
I eventually ended up buying five pounds. <laughs> but, <laughs> but good. <laughs> five I pounds. And uh, after that, I mean, I had to make it for a bunch of people. Like, you know what I mean? And my mind been out of slap. So, you know, I had to... <laughs> I had to make sure that everybody had enough. And then I made some of those cheesesteak egg rolls that I made for the first episode when we were here. Thanks. Um, so I ended up buying that, cooked it up, and I was even more excited. Listen to this. Made all the empanadas and had some left over. I was eating I was eating longanisa for like a week after that. Had it for my meal preps. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they were a little upset last episode because I sent them a picture of the long any sub, but you guys didn't get that. You nothing. couldn't freeze any and bring up? No. Nah. Right. Right. Now y'all like to talk crap, last, especially last episode. <laughs> like, y'all, think, y'all think I didn't hear about that. Y'all know I'm about to get on, get on you, especially you, Dave. Y'all know you were starting it too. You was probably riled them up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real, nice to see you. Um, what's on your mind? What you been up to? Well, summer's over, almost over, and yeah, I, I Shh, don't I go say to, that. Stop. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. On. I'm holding on. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, at the groceries now, you see like some flavors they're introducing for fall. Pumpkin. So they're starting to get some pumpkin, maple. You don't see a lot of those things now. So I mean, I'm trying to mix up new flavors, make new flavors for you know, the nuts, spice nuts. So trying to do some angry maple. Inspiration coming from you, Dave. Nice. So I'm feeling angry, so. That sounds to Come up with something like that. I'm not buying that bag. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, we had uh, I had my boys do the angry uh, the farmers market today to only find out that they only sold under uh, you could count in the single hand. Yeah, it was. Yeah, why, why you gotta put my boys Yo, out there like that? Like why? You so I'm sending them to. I got to the unemployment office on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I appreciate the help, man. Shout out to my boys. They're always uh, eager to help, and I appreciate them. So um, what's up with you, with you outside of the painful five-bottle experience? <laughs> what else is What else is new? Uh, you know, being a dad, you know, takes over in uh, coaching soccer. Um, you know, all the other parents as well. Peer pressure me to coach. Um, I'd love but, to see you try to make a goal. <laughs> Yo, I be killing them. I be breaking mm-hmm. them. It be like a weeble wobble or whatever. You know what I mean? Yo, all those seven-year-old girls chasing. I, I be breaking ankles. <laughs> Your own ankles. <laughs> Yo, um, real quick, I almost forgot. Talk about the app. You got the app? Uh, oh yes, I have the app. Um, so recently, I don't even want to say recently. About, about a month and a month or so ago. Um, the Gorilla Podcast Networks actually released their very own app, and you can find that on Google Play Store or iTunes. It is the Gorilla Podcast Network app. Um, you'll be able to find our episodes there. You'll be able to find episodes of every other podcast that are on the same network, uh, the Gorilla nice. Podcast Networks. Some of them are the Backyard Mecca Show, um, the Spinner's Digest. You have a few other ones. Uh, I think Naya's World. Um, there's a few new ones on there, but you'll be able to find any one of those episodes on the app. Uh, notifications for your favorite ones, if you like, favorite podcasts, if you like. Again, that's on the Google Play Store or Apple iTunes. So look that up. One stop shop for all the all of the uh, streaming of the podcasts. Whereas you know you don't have to go to every you know SoundCloud and all these other different avenues to try to find it all in one uh, spot. Thank you very much. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Late Night Potluck Show. And look us up on YouTube. We'll have a video out soon. So let's jump into, uh, we got our special guest. Listen, this is a little twist here, right? So our guest is not only a nutritionist. She's also a sweet creator. Baker. So is this almost like an oxymoron? <laughs> you know what this reminds me? What is when it? you come visit your mother and she says, Papito, tu ta gordo. And then she just feeds you and feeds you. Yeah. And if, right? yeah. <laughs> Grandma usually tells me I'm flaco and she keeps feeding me more. Oh, no, no. I she tells like, me, yo, you, you can't some weight. You need to lose weight. And then she'll just feed me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's let's welcome Mariela. Wait. I guess, which? You got it. You got it. Okay. Let's just put the, put, the, put the roll of the tongue in there. <laughs> Let's just Mariela Perez Russo. Mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you for having me, guys. 
So, please. Uh, uh, well, first of all, we got some food. Let's talk about what we have here. Yeah. Um, and you can we can go back and forth in introducing. Um, sure, you know, that sounds just, good. Yeah. So, what I did today, because I was thinking, I was like, what am I gonna do? Because again, I do have two completely different businesses. Okay. So I started with the food as um, what do you what do we do for nutrition, right? So we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I decided to make breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner for you guys. So you're going to have a little bit of everything. We have a um, overnight oats with chia. And this is a chocolate um, with yogurt. And it also has um, peanut butter granola in it. So that's going to be your breakfast. For lunch, I have a white rice with shrimp. And the shrimp is cooked with olive oil, butter, and sage. I actually think they're all allergic to seafood by myself. It's so, no, well, that cured me. I know. <laughs> I had to because I was like, well, I don't know. So I so brought a little bit of everything. So and then... Me, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, sorry. For dinner, I brought... It is a penne pasta, but it's a red lentil penne. So okay. it's a uh, high protein, lower in carb. And then it has ground uh, beef with a little bit of barbecue sauce and um, tomatoes and olives. So. Does it have that concept Dave's angry barbecue sauce? No, I was not for no. sure. She's, she's waiting. She's <laughs> no. Waiting. Yeah, we got to get that yes. out. Hey, as I uh, as I mentioned that, by the way, keep your eyes out for that. Dave's angry sauce will be coming out with some didn't talk barbecue about that. sauce soon. But let's get back to our guests. We'll talk about that another day. So, a quick question. So, what do you recommend? Is that, you know, five, three times a day? Uh, so, I, what happens is we... It all depends on the person. But I would say 90% of the, the people come out of the same way you have to have breakfast lunch dinner and two mm-hmm. snacks um i didn't bring snacks today because right. snacks are easy they're easy right. there's either fruit or you have you know almonds your or... almonds cheese sticks it's it really depends on what the goal for the patient is so it really varies um but then everybody does have to have three meals mm-hmm. the kind of what we do is we have to eat every three to four hours whether that is a meal or a snack why? Because imagine what you're doing when you wake up in the morning and you're starting up a fire. You know, imagine your life is up on fire. You start it up, right? You need a lot of energy and all. Usually, my day starts. Exactly. Like I'm on fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we all. So we start that, and we, that's why we start with a breakfast that tends to be a little higher on carbs. That way, you start your day faster. You don't have to like wait for the body to process any other meals mm-hmm. or anything, right? Uh, Dave, Dave so, doesn't miss a mm, meal, trust me. <laughs> so what happens after that? <laughs> Shots fired. So what happens after that is you have to maintain that fire. It's easier for you to maintain that going on and burning energy throughout the day than let it die out and then try again for lunch, die out, and then try them for dinner. So what happens is your body goes back and forth. But in the meantime, if you do have energy throughout the day that you're feeding your body constantly then you do have more energy for the day you do tend to lose more weight when you eat like that Mm -hmm. and the reason being is because you're supplying your body with the energy that it needs for that time and whatever is missing it goes to the reserve which is our fat cells right Right. So. I got a large reserve right here. So, so it sounds like it's counter to like what people think. Like yes. you have to starve yourself to yes. lose weight, right? It does, um, and that's one of the struggles that we as nutritionists and mm-hmm. you know deal with because there's a lot of fat diets out there, and people kind of tend to be like, "Oh, I'm not going to eat anything because I need to lose weight." Mm-hmm. Yes, it does work. I'm not going to say it does not work, but it's not something that you can maintain long term. Exactly. Like, yeah. And I'm not in the science of giving you a starvation diet i'm here to educate you Hi. so uh, in uh, intermittent i was gonna fasting. that's exactly so, what i was gonna ask how what is your what's your thoughts on intermittent fasting so intermittent fasting has its benefits um and it works but it does not work for everybody it's like everything not everybody can do intermittent fa- fasting i actually had a couple of clients who wanted to do that and i'm like okay fine i'll design the diet for you that's not a problem and they did i think it was like day three they called me and they're like i'm about to pass out and i'm like that's not for you 
So let's switch it up a little bit. And he still lost weight. He still did good. But the problem is it really just depends on the person. Are are you able to explain a little bit for our listeners what intermittent fasting is? For those that don't know what it is? Yeah. So what happens is you eat your meals in kind of a window of opportunity. Like just for example, most people, it's eight hours. They eat all the calories all together for eight hours. And then they... I don't like to call it starve, but they starve fast. for their fast mm-hmm. for the rest. So it's more like um, uh, it's more like uh, intermittent fasting. <laughs> yes, I mean for me, it when you think about it, we all kind of do it in a way because most of us, most of us except today, eat our meals <laughs> earlier during the day. Like we start our day, we eat, we eat, and then by seven, eight o'clock, you're having dinner. So when you go from there to seven in the morning the next day, you are kind of doing intermittent fasting. It's just that it's not as packed in as what people tend to do, which again, you know, I mean, it works for some people, but not everybody. So that's when we come in and we see, well, what works for you? Okay. Let's let's jump in to breakfast. I'm saying again, mm-hmm. let's get breakfast in. Let's see what's up with breakfast. So, Overnight oats. Yes. So I have some spoons here so you guys can scoop them out. Mm. Um, and there's bowls. I did bring some extra granola nice. so you can pour because that way it's... I'm going to have to pour two because King Dave over here. I love that he embraced his seat. Yeah, I embraced my seat because even if I sat over there, you'd probably make me do it. Mm. You'd be like, Manny, can you reach over Riel and bring me some food? <laughs> no, he'd give us icing. He'd like, give us some, give us some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the, with the lip, with the little Hispanic lip. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Catch that on video. Here you go. Overnight oats. Let's yes. see what this is all so about. So that has rolled oats, um, regular milk, uh, non-fat Greek yogurt, unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm just trying to close my eyes and think yeah, of yeah, what I did. <laughs> um, chia seeds. Um, I think that's it. Oh, a little bit of agave. Okay. Um, to sweeten it up because um, everything it's kind of does not have that much sugar except the granola um, which does have it's a peanut butter granola can you and describe what agave is so agave mm-hmm. is a it's a syrup and it comes from the agave tree and it's a natural um, sweetener now, what people tend to do, it's like, well, I'm not eating sugar. I'm putting agave in my tea. And I'm like, okay, that's great. Guess what? Agave is sugar. So <laughs> in a way, you're still adding sugar. It's just that it's not your refined sugar. It's not your white sugar and all that. But um, yeah, so that's what I Would have. you say agave is a better alternative to honey or... They're, for me, they're in the both in the same category okay, okay. because at the end of the day, they're both sweeteners and they're both natural. Um, and they, one may raise your blood sugar more than the other. I don't have that exact number in my head right now, but it does. It, it's the same thing. Um, Will you be joining us? I'm good. <laughs> I have that problem when I cook. I tend not to eat my own food. I'll try it, which I tried everything. And let's see. <laughs> oh, you have to put a little bit extra. Oh, yeah. oh we have to top. put a little bit more. Oats. You don't you have to. You don't have to. Tell me you don't twice. have to. It's. Oh, I'll put it. It's just in case. Um, I mean, if the nutritionist is telling me does, to put more of something, sure. It does give it a little bit more of a crunch, um, and that tends to happen with overnight oats. So what I tend to tell my clients is, do it. You know, you do. For example, I tend to put three days and then you can put them all together and when you come out that day that morning if you're gonna add fruit you can add it that that morning so now a lot of a lot of people a lot of us Mm -hmm. are either intimidated or just see that it's inconvenient what would you say is this yeah so um what i try to do it's i really accommodate the client on whatever it is that they need so for example if you tell me hey look i do not want to cook more than three times a week that's fine. Let's meal prep three times a week. If you only have two, we'll do two. So overnight oats, the, simp- the greatest thing about it is that you can prep everything together. I literally think I used one spoon because I poured everything in and then you shake it off, put it in the fridge and forget about it till you have to eat it. Okay. So it's really easy to do. 
And again, it has high, high protein because you have protein in your yogurt. You have protein in the oats a little bit, even though they're mostly carbs, but you still have some. And then you have the chia seeds. So you have a packed in breakfast that also has carbs for you to definitely just start your day. Now, I know you guys are foodies, so I need to know what you think. I did do it. That's why I said to you, I hope you guys are open to Ooh. trying different things. Does because it look like me and Dave are not <laughs> open to? <laughs> no, you know what it is? When I tell people what overnight's all, they're like, oh, no, I'm not going to try it. And I'm like, well, we all have to try things at least once. And then if you don't like it, I'm fine with it. You don't have to have it. I'll get it out of your menu and mm. we'll do something different. Um, I've had people that I've never oh. put over at night so in their plans, and that's fine. See, in my house, I'm a pain in the ass. My wife, I annoy the shit out of her because I'm always putting it on her. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you're talking because you don't, mm-hmm. you don't fix me my salad, you know? She she gets pissed. But, no, this is good. Um, I'm, I love peanut butter. Good. You know what I would do put in this? Mm-hmm. But I know they got carbs, though. What? Banana. So, banana, it's fine. It. Mm-hmm. So you can have pretty much every food. It's just the amount that you put on that you have to control. You gotta so remind for example, him yellow bananas, not not maduros. Oh not no, fried I'm not maduros <laughs> in his because you know he'll put some fried maduros on there. So you can definitely have bananas or guineo, like I call it, mm-hmm. um, and then definitely add in a little bit of extra sweetness. So if you want to do that, for example, what I would do for you, I would either. Take out a little bit more of the agave, mm-hmm. so put it a little bit less, and then add the banana. That so way, sub- substitute. substitute. Okay. Yes. Why? Because then that way you can still have a banana and okay. not go overboard with the number of calories that you're okay. consuming. Well, I think it's good. I think it's good. I think it's definitely a great mm-hmm. breakfast thing. Um, I like the being able to put the granola in later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the crunch. It yes. is, and that's big for not allowing it to uh, get soggy. And stuff it does have a little right. bit already in, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I didn't add all of it. That way you do have that crunch. Yeah, because crunch. what's good about meals is when you have different textures. That's true. Mm-hmm. So if you have everything this mushy, I'm sorry. It does not taste good, no matter how much. That sounds like this. I, I did a diet one time. It was <laughs> terrible. It was horrendous. But I had a teacher in high school. I don't know if you remember Mr. Ritzitelli. This dude lost hundreds of pounds, literally hundreds. Dude's huge. I said, "What did you do?" He goes, "Oh, I did a, a diet called the Sacred Heart Diet. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's like a sopa diet. Mm-hmm. All you do is sopa and fruit. Mm. It was horrendous. I was pissed off at life within like day three. Like it was terrible. Yeah. Let me tell you, when Manny gets old, I'll have to chew his food for him, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got to get used to that mushiness. He's, yeah, he's forgetting that he's already like twenty years older than me, so." <laughs> I'll be chewing his food for him. <laughs> yeah, he thought it'll be coming out of there, right? <laughs> I was like in third grade when he already graduated high school. So I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I look younger, though. No, look nah, younger. but this is, I like it. It's good. I like, again, the peanut butter and mm-hmm. chocolate flavor in it. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. And it's like the right amount of agave, too. It's not yeah. like, again, I think we spoke about it earlier. I'm not a huge sweets person, mm-hmm. right? And to me, it's not like sweet. Right. But it gives it enough flavor where you're just not like, Ugh, it's bland. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what happens is because I you have to add something sweet because the unsweetened cocoa powder, it's great, but mm-hmm. it can just change the taste and everything mm-hmm. very quick. You ever see uh, <laughs> the video of the little kid thinking he's about to get in? He made up stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thought he was stuffing his mouth with uh, cocoa powder, but it was unsweetened. unsweetened. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So what I like about that breakfast is that it's quick. You, most of us in the morning, mm. either we are running to work or we got kids we got to feed. We got mornings are hectic no matter what, right. um, no matter how much you plan. So that's why I always say I have to give you something that's easy, quick, and you can do. Right. Whether it's this or a freezer burrito breakfast where you just wrap it up, you have it in the freezer, and then you just heat it up and run out the door. Um, I do a lot of quiche eggs with vegetables and cheese in that way again you make it one day you cut it up you're good all you have to do is heat it up and walk out um and what what i like doing is where i have the most joy is meal planning Mm. and it really depends my i guess my niche if you want to call it is weight management um we've all struggled we will i still struggle with weight i'm a nutritionist 
I love when people are like, oh, but you're supposed to be thin because you're a nutritionist. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm also human. So I I have two businesses. I'm a mom. But wait, everything. So this is like when your dentist's teeth is falling out. Do you still go? To- so <laughs> exactly. Well, which is understandable. <laughs> exactly. Which is understandable. Like, for example, um, when I had my daughter, I was when my I had my first daughter. I was 190 something pounds when I when I got pregnant. I went up to 215, I think it was. I came down immediately after I had her, and then I stopped breastfeeding and I started gaining weight again. So I had your <laughs> new mom yeah. body. You know, I went of back course, to 215, yeah. which is, and then I was like, okay, well, now I aside need to from get it a together. dentist. Aside from a dentist, usually like the mechanic usually mm-hmm. has the beat down car. Mm-hmm. The the computer technician usually has a shitload of computers broken down. Yeah, so in casa de herrero cuchillo de palo. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I try not to be like that. I try to you know at least do what I preach. Okay. Um, and I guess that's why most of my clients resonate with me, and it's because right, right. they just like, hey, look. This week I had this problem. I had that problem, and I'm like, me too. Guess what? It's, it's okay. You don't, you know, if you fall off, it's not how many times you fall off. It's how many times you get up. If you get up one more time, you good. Yeah. <laughs> I would never be able to be one of her clients. Why? Because I'd be like, nah, I did great, and then I come on the episode and I'm like, yeah, I stuffed my face with this, I did this, I did that. She'd be listening to him like, come in the next time. She's like, so about that great last week. So what I like is I use an app on your smartphone that's called Healthy, um, and you can take pictures of what you're eating when you're eating. You text me there, everything. So even if you do, for example, I've had clients say, hey, look, I'm going out and I'm going to this restaurant. And I'm like, okay, that's great. What were you thinking of having? Because I want you to tell me first what you want to have. And then you tell me, okay, well, I was thinking of having this, this, and this. Okay, great. What's your day like? What are you going to have the rest of the day? Because then what happens is most people say, oh, I'm going to go to, let's say, Chili's. I'm going to have the burger with the fries. So I'm going to save my calories. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. You can eat less throughout the day but don't skip meals because then we're gonna have the same problem you're gonna the, screw up your day this is gonna be the most hated episode ever <laughs> it was like we love food why should no, not i love food eat, like. i love food i love food too that's why after medical school i i did medical school in the Dominican Republic, and then i moved here and i'm like okay well what am i gonna do and residency wasn't happening and i'm like okay I spoke to one of my um, mentors at the time. I consider her a mentor now. And she said, there's a great field in nutrition. And I said, do you think so? And she's like, yes. And I was able to go to Columbia and do nutrition part time and still work and still do everything because that was my thing. I was like, I don't want to take a whole year off and be full in back to being a student 100%. So it was great and it worked and I love it. I love I love what I do. I love food. Who doesn't love food? Yeah. Yeah. And then what the problem is and this is this is why weight management wherever you want to see it is so hard and it's because okay, for example, you have your smoker. What do you have to do if you want to stop smoking? You stop smoking. You want to lose weight? You can't stop eating. So you still have to eat every single day, multiple mm-hmm. times a day, and it surrounds you. Food surrounds us. So what do you do? It's a struggle. And that's why. So I always say, just take it easy. Take it one time, at, one day at a time. Let's work on what do you want to start first. Some people want to jump in and, you know, cold turkey, do everything from scratch. And some people work, some people don't. I'm like, that's fine. Let's start with one meal a day. What can, what's your compromise with me? And I always say, I've worked with kids, which is hard to work with kids um, because you can't, restrain them too much because they're still growing and then on top of it you have the fact that they are not cooking for themselves you could restrain them con la chacleta. <laughs> <laughs> all the kids the, the, here's the dietary uh situation at the school i work at mm-hmm. dockies and 50 cent sodas uh-huh. that's all you see yeah. them eat. they won't eat lunch they want uh, dockies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and 50 cent sodas yeah that is crazy yeah and it's I mean, it still surprises me. And, you know, we are all involved in food in one way or another. And when you go and buy water, 
you gotta spend what two fifty sometimes, and then you can buy a soda for two dollars or a dollar fifty or whatever it is. And you're like, that doesn't. It's not supposed to be like that. No. If you want to buy a salad, you gotta spend more money. Right. If you want it, and I mean it's changing. The culture is changing. Thank God. But still, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah, I think uh, Whole Foods is making an effort in trying to make it more affordable to mm-hmm. shop there because. It's ridiculous that it costs so much more cheaper to eat unhealthy. Than, yeah. You know? I mean, I everybody's like, oh, well, you probably shop at Whole Foods. And I'm like, uh-uh, I got a budget too. So I go to your regular supermarket. And then if I do need something this specific that only Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, or any of your you know fancier supermarkets have, then I go there. But if not, you be seeing me in the aisle where the 75 cents <laughs> freaking beans are. I feel right. like for Trader Joe's, though, like my wife and I shop there. And we love it. We feel like the quality is mm-hmm. great. And yeah, like for us, we, th- we we find that. I mean, there's some products that are mm-hmm. up there in price, especially the meats. Mm-hmm. Meats of the meats yeah, are yeah. really pricey. But they're really good. But they're really good meats and everything. So like for us, however, like for the stuff that we generally buy, like our weekly products, we found that it's actually more cost effective for us. Again, we don't have any kids yet, mm-hmm. so I can't say that for like the kids stuff mm-hmm. and but like for us just myself and her it's much more cost effective than going to stop and shop like some of the stuff at stop and shop is yeah most of it and, and don't be trying to get ricky on me too talking about <laughs> he's a stop and shop guy um but also hey a, a little note on the amazon i mean amazon on whole foods yeah. if you have amazon prime mm-hmm. oh for those that have amazon prime yep you can actually go to whole foods and get an automatic discount i think it's like 10 percent or something like that or up to 10 yeah. percent for being an Amazon Prime member, you just show them a little code mm-hmm. that's on your app, yeah. and they'll give you a discount. And then throughout the store, there's like different depends on the item. Depends yeah, it depends on the item. There's different colored like bubbles on it, and depending on the bubble color and the item is a certain amount of percentage. I think mm-hmm. up to like some of the stuff is up to like fifty percent off, and you'll get like one or two things and stuff that nobody buys. Um, that's that's that. But generally, you get some stuff there. That's yeah, like, you do. If you're an Amazon member. Check it out for it. I mean, you're not gonna save your whole thing but that you helps out a little something. bit you save something you know yeah so let's join you want to jump into lunch mm-hmm, mm-hmm. breakfast was delicious good let's go to yeah. lunch so lunch we have let's see this is not this one so we have white rice and the shrimp the shrimp like i said is made with olive is sauteed with olive oil butter sage and a little bit of pepper okay what are your thoughts on like using oils because so, I, I know there's some people, like some fitness people, that are like won't touch oils at all. Co- like, coconut, if it's not coconut oil. No, nah, they yeah, like yeah. I know some of them. They won't touch oil at, at all. all. No oil, no butter, no nothing. Yeah. So again, it's another food group. Everybody needs. Oh, we all need our food groups, including. Oh, and that goes with this too. Sorry about that. Not this one. This the salad. I forgot about that. So it is a salad. It's a because I wasn't sure who was vegetarian. So did oh she's not here this week I know so that's I I wasn't sure if she was coming so I did have a little something Throw that out the window. shout out so shout no, out to you Marcia do, you just you, got our guest you have got your cries. yes yes I do <laughs> so you do have to try it though no, it is a three bean salad and it has chickpeas red beans and black beans and then peppers onions and I put a little bit of um, apple mm. cider and olive oil it's so. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's kind of the same thing yeah. but I did use sage instead okay. um, I never have that smells good it, it does how, look how like I had to fight my husband for that one <laughs> big beautiful shrimp oh my god! thank you um, so let me ask you why why do you go with the white rice so uh, white rice has been condemned um, people don't want to use white rice there's nothing bad about no, white yeah. rice and or brown rice. You can have both. Again, it's just the quantity. Okay. So, for example, a serving of um, a carb for white rice is half a cup. So when you think, and I'm not talking your half a cup packed in, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's half a cup served. And it really, and it's fine. You can have it. Again, it's just the amount. So when we think about our meals, we tend to put, what do you start serving your meal with? You start with the rice, right? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. usually it ends up on the whole it, on plate. the whole plate. <laughs> yeah, the whole. Plate. So I always well, looked at me when you said because that, though, you're, the right? you're the one you're the one serving the food. No hate, just you serving the food. I just thought food. you knew what I'd be eating. No, uh, right, no. no, you know, because we, we, we all do it. it. No, we all do it. We all do it. We do it. 
We all do it. I'm Dominican. I start with my race. Yeah, right. Because that's the base. That's the that's base. The foundation. That's the foundation and of our meals. Load it up. <laughs> exactly. So rice should be treated as a side. Um, and you want to have your proteins first. In this case, we actually have two proteins because we have the beans and we do have the shrimp. Okay. So just a heads up, we're going to have to uh, put I the did... food on the same. Oh, oh, I brought I didn't even realize like, the plate plates. I'm over picking that up. Oh, oh. oh. give me the trash. Yes. Keep your forks and spoons. Yeah, that's kind of, I literally just grabbed. I was like, let me just take this. Wow, so that's good to know. All right, so oils are not bad. Oils are not bad. Again, it's just a quantity. So what happens is. pack it in like I will, huh? Exactly. Or the chinos, because you get that tiny little Mm -hmm. cup of the chinos. And and then you open it up, and it's like. It never ends. (laughs) Yeah, it never ends. It just keeps coming out and out and out. So, again, you know, just, it's always portions. (laughs) Que dieta. The seafood diet. So the seafood needs it. So the word dieta is just a meals. So it really depends on what your meals are. You can have dietas that you're losing weight. You can have dietas that you're gaining weight. So. By the way, dieta is diet. Mhm. Dieta. 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 Yeah. Same thing. Yep. So it's just it's really just about amounts and not so much of what you cannot have. I so, Shh, I'm sorry. no no I was I was just gonna say when my clients come to me and they ask me well I can I have this I'm like do you want it mm-hmm. are you gonna feel absolutely restrained if you don't have it okay oh well okay you know what yes you want pizza okay we can work on it are you willing to just have regular pizza or are you willing to have you know my type of pizza oh, okay. and then if you're saying no I just want you have once a week, I want to go out and have a yeah. pizza, this pepperoni, cheese, whatever, right? It's like having a cheat day, though. Exactly. Yeah, so okay. so I I don't do cheat days. I do cheat meals. Cheat meals. Okay. Why? Because you can undo a lot of your work throughout the week with one, one day, full one day. day of, one full okay. day sabotaging of yourself. sabotaging. So not that it's bad. Again, you can have anything you want. I always say it depends on what your goal is. So I always take I would say take it one meal at a time. You screw it up breakfast, not a problem. Work it out next time. What are you gonna have? Okay, well I had I don't know. I can't I am gonna say bacon, egg, and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> Which is fine. It is okay. What's your goal for the day? Your goal for the day is to what? Lose weight? You wanna lose weight? Great. Okay, you had your bacon, egg and cheese, no problem. What are you gonna have for lunch? Are you gonna have rice and beans and a big ass salad? Maybe leave the rice and beans and you have the salad. Yeah, Same thing with dinner. So it, it really just depends. And then work around it. One day is not the end as long as you fix it. I remember I was in a, I was doing a juicing. Mm-hmm. So oh. juicing. Steroids so, aren't good, bro. No. <laughs> 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 so, you know, get the kale mm-hmm. and I get like, I hate kale. So I loaded it with green apples and carrots and all that shit like <clears throat> Put a little extra white rice on Vito so he needs to get his weight up <laughs> yeah, like so and but I remember like spending my day wanting to punch anybody yeah. that came up to me you're in a bad mood yeah that was horrible <laughs> so if you like it really again it all depends but if you're starving yourself you're gonna be in a bad mood there is no way you're gonna be feeling energized and why? Because you're literally starving your body from inside out, from your head, because you're like, well, I can't have that. I can't have that. I can't have that. And when you put that much negative energy into the food, that's exactly how it's going to hit you. So I always say, what do you miss? What, are you, what can we work on? And I always compromise with my clients. Well, you know, what are you willing to do? Because the problem is, if I tell you, no, you got to do this, 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 and this, you may be able to do it, but you're not going to sustain it. I've had, I have what I call, and they're probably going to be listening because they do know about the podcast. <laughs> so I have Mi Familia. La Familia is, I have a client, then there, it's four of them. For They all have different goals. They're all different ages, different stages. And I make meal plans, one meal plan for all of them. And I always tell them, what are you guys going to compromise? Well, you know, you have your person that doesn't like me, but she's willing to try it. 
If not, she's going to replace it for herself. You know, so it, it really just depends. And I have a conversation with you. After I sent you your plan, I say, look, at, look it up. Tell me what you did like, what you did not like. If you don't like something, I'm going to change it for you. Why? Because you do not have to hate the food that you eat. You should be able to love the food that you eat. This is really good. So, so I have a question. Yes. Talk about kind of limiting the types of foods that we're mm-hmm. eating throughout the day based on, you know, if we're going to eat something later on or in the morning. Mm-hmm. So what about, let's say, for example, for myself, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty open about it. I don't care. I eat anything. Mm-hmm. And when I say anything, I eat anything. Like, I don't mind eating a big old salad with, like, nothing on it or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever the case is. My problem is overeating it. Mm. So, like, I don't mind a salad, but that salad is going to be big as hell, mm-hmm. like, and probably with too much dressing on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like, what, what, what approaches would you take for someone like myself who, who is okay with eating the healthy mm-hmm. food, you know, some of the more the vegan options or whatever the case is, uh, but just overdoes it? So, I would just talk to you about portion control. And again, it really depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to lose weight, then we'll talk about portion control. You know, how much of that food can you eat? How much of that salad now, can you eat? Now, if he if he spends some time on the treadmill, he, he can get away <laughs> with eating that much. Well, right? he's you, from, you're very tall. Coming from treadmill looker himself over here. Yeah. Uh, so can, and this is what say, happens. Wait, wait, say that again. So I'm what? I'm you're, very, what? you're very tall. But but you're, Dave is not right. <laughs> <laughs> so the first approach is to always look at the client. Mm-hmm. What are their needs? Okay. I cannot put you, for example, in a 1,200 calorie diet. You're gonna pass out, no matter what. You yeah. for for what I'm thinking and just looking at you, I'm gonna say at least 2,300. Damn. To lose the weight? Yes. Oh, I'm about to say not because I, I think I calculated one day. Like mm-hmm. this is crazy. I went to a nutritionist before for a few times. A few times. When we calculated, because I was like heavily addicted to like soda. Oh. Heavily addicted. Yeah. Energy drink, soda. Mm-hmm. Can you guys believe? I was intaking anywhere from six to ten thousand calories a day. This was at my biggest. We were talking about earlier, Vito, mm-hmm. around my wedding time. I was fifty pounds heavier then than I am now, and it was because I was taking in six to ten thousand calories. The only thing that helped me was that at the time I was still pretty active. Mm-hmm. So if not, I'd have been, I'd have been oh, way no, bigger yeah. than that. I was three twenty at the time. Mm-hmm. I would have been way bigger than that, and it's mostly because of drinking stuff, yes. soda. So we, like, yeah, we tend to drink our calories. Yeah, yeah that's and what I was that's doing. that's the issue. Food is not a problem. Most of my clients that I have, it's like, well, I'm like, okay, well, I eat salads, I eat this, I eat that, and I'm like, okay, great. What do you drink? Well, I drink juice, I drink sodas, I drink beer. Sorry, I alcohol right, I've been, tends I've been to be white claw. You know, let me stop. So al- <laughs> with, with his Uggs. <laughs> so alcohol, it's it's not frowned upon at least in my eyes you can still have it it's just again the amount and how frequent like a skinny martini so for example you can still have not everybody likes it but like you can have vodka um you can have she didn't say some, vodka <laughs> she said vodka vodka yeah we're not having cows right? <laughs> okay. um so definitely it really depends again in you know some people are like well i'm not giving up my wine and i'm like mm. okay well, how much of that wine are you willing to give up? So are you going to have your actual amount or the, bottle. or the bottle? Like, can you have one glass? And I'm not talking about your one glass that's 12 ounces. I'm talking about your six ounces. Sure. I was going to say, man, sure. I got some really big ones that fit the whole bottle. So mm-hmm. if you say one glass. I exactly. So, again, it's all about portion. And I always say it's fine. And you, you drank it, that's fine. You don't hit yourself over the head. Let's move on. What are you okay. going to do next? So you're not telling the client that, stop, don't drink that ever. You're not no. starving them off. Of no. That. So you're and telling them portion yes and that so and again it really depends on how much you want to work on okay. i've had people say no i'm gonna stop drinking and i'm like okay great let's work with that now if you tell me later on like look i am ready to you know kind of introduce my routines back in and i'm like okay let's start slowly what can we do what can we not do yeah. because that's that's what's going to keep you going that's what's going to keep you motivated throughout the whole plan to whatever it is that your end goal is 
so yeah, I guess that's what's different with like restrictive diets, yes. like diets right now. They say keto, you can't mm-hmm. have sugar, but it, it seems like you like okay, go ahead, but we have to cut it off and we have to make it up somewhere. Exactly. You so okay. keto, it's it's very interesting. I I've actually done keto myself. Mm-hmm. I worked with keto for a long, long time. Who's um, this guy keto? I so it's a ketogenic yeah, diet. So a ketogenic diet, what happens is you tend to not eat a lot of carbs. carbs right. So you tend to focus mostly on protein and fats, mm-hmm. um, which is great. You do tend to lose a lot of weight, but not everybody can maintain it. Yeah. Being on a ketogenic diet is very hard um, because you have to keep the amount of carbs throughout the day so low um, to be in a ketogenic state. So it, it's really hard. Yeah, just a good thing about keto is like you can eat fat. Oh, you can, yeah. yeah. Like bacon. 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 <laughs> bacon. <laughs> yes. Hey, bacon's in its own realm of food, all right? Let's mm-hmm. not include that. Mm-hmm. But, um, but the other thing, too, is because I looked into that stuff, like the lower carb. I didn't like, wasn't thinking about going keto, but just lowering the amount of carbs. There's like vegetables and fruits that have... Like so, lush, like a lot of carbs and a lot of like, and I'm like, so vegetables and fruit are carbs, yeah, pretty like, much yeah. all of them. They do have yeah. a mix because nothing is pure mm-hmm. carbs. So let's but talk we- about that, right? So, <clears throat> I, I spoke to you about my mother's situation, mm-hmm. she's a diabetic. Um, now the good news is that this is, is in like 25 years, this is the lowest her sugar's ever been, yeah. right? It's in the high, you know, 80s, 90s, you it's know? good. Which is great, um, but she's she can't. Uh, she's been prohibited to eat even fruits. Yes. Uh, is there a better plan for her? Because she's really struggling, struggling emotionally and mm-hmm. mentally. You know, because you better tell them this isn't free advice. Is so, gonna pay you after the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it really again, it 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 wouldn't have to. I would have to have a compromise with her. Mm-hmm. Well, what is your ultimate goal? You want to. What is that she's missing the most? Right. Because sometimes just having that one thing can change your mood completely. And, and she, it's crazy because I've seen her where like she's done so good, and I remember like, okay, you know what? Go ahead and have that bread, right? Mm-hmm. And she have that bread, and she'll relapse where yes. like she'll get cranky because yes. now she can't have any more bread. And we don't want to see that, right? Yeah. So, but like, I think going into like the fruits, though, like she loved her fruits, which now she's like, what the hell, I can't have any fruits. Now. So you you can still have fruit when you're in a ketogenic diet. Which one? It so it then you have different ones. For example, we were talking about bananas earlier. Right. Like half a banana, and I'm not talking about your jumbo bananas. Right. It's that's one serving of fruit. So you would have to replace your vegetables with one of those fruits. So for example, if she has, she's gonna have a vegetable later on in the day, and she'd rather have a fruit, she can have that. Um, clementines, one and a half clementines is one serving. Seventeen grapes, I've never forgotten that number. Seventeen grapes is one serving. Um, then you have half, um, a half a cup of blueberries. All of your other fruits can be included is again just the amount that you're having and always 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 what are you accompanying that fruit with Mm -hmm. so I don't like having my clients eat a straight fruit sometimes I do I try not to and if I do I try to do it early in the day why if you're gonna have fruit try to have it with a little bit of protein what would that mean that would mean cheese that would mean ham I've had people mix stuff and it's fine yogurt with fruit is great why because you have yeah. the protein on the yogurt and what happens is you get f- more f- full and you last longer if you have a piece of fruit for a snack your your sugar is gonna go high you're gonna feel great you're gonna have energy but you're gonna crash and it's in that crashing that most of the people tend to be like now I'm starving yeah it's that crash yeah. that makes you hungry. So listen, this is a lot of great information yeah. that we need to kind of like move on to the mm-hmm, next. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can so I, can I can I get a, just a quick hand clap for that shrimp though? Because was it that good? shrimp Yo. was bomb. We need a little hand clap for that. I need to hear some of this. That good. shrimp was bomb. Woo! That Thank shrimp you. was yeah. bomb. It was good with rice and the beans. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you can keep the beans. Yeah, that, oh, that, that, bean that bean salad, salad it's my favorite. Yeah. I love really it. 
it's it has carbs it has a lot of protein beans can be both beans can be counted as a carb or counted as a protein it really depends right. on what you're gonna do so for example when you have a vegetarian person and they mm -hmm. eat rice and beans you're still having a good combination because you're having carbs with the rice but you're also having carbs with the beans but there's also protein huh. so you're still having a little bit of a complete you the know beans that the hispanics make is them look good So we and the caldo, it, caldo. Yeah, the it, it, re it really depends. I you know arroz con habichola is great. It just I always say just try to control the amount of salt and the amount of fat that you put in um, because we tend to put a lot of oil uh, in the, the bean. <laughs> yeah. So for example, those are uh, with that salad. That is like the cheapest salad you can make, and it's still so nutritious. Why? All of it is canned. So you have what I was referring to earlier before your seventy five dollars seventy five yeah. cent cans. So you have what? So what do you do? It, so you don't add that much salt and you control your own salt. You mm. rinse it. So mm. you rinse you rinse your beans before you put them in the salad. I tend to rinse them right away. Put them in, in a big bowl. Patita de cerdo. Make sure you rinse them shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get For those to, that don't know that's pig's feet. <laughs> yes. And then you get to add your own sal your own salt. And you get to Himalayan measure. Salt. Salt it don't is, matter where the salt, salt comes from. Salt. Um, <laughs> you know, so fancy and stuff over there, right? The only thing that I put fresh on that was the um, onions and peppers. Then everything else, the corn. Oh, it has corn too. I forgot about mm -hmm. that. There's corn in it too. Mm -hmm. All right. So, can you hit us with some facts about corn? Oh, like, oh, here we go. <laughs> like he, he's a he's a guy like. Facts. Like I, I, you know, I've heard things of corn really has no nutritional value, and then the other things of corn's good for you. I mean, we know corn is used in almost everything that they process, yes. like everything, because it's it, cheap. Yeah, because it's extreme. It's crazy cheap. Like, and you can grow it anywhere, mm -hmm. like any climate, any anywhere. Corn grows. Mm -hmm. Is it, what is the truth behind it? Is there nutritional value for corn of, or no? Of like, course there is. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a carb, so you do have to watch how much corn you eat. Okay. Um, but corn has a lot of fiber, mm. um, which is really good, especially if you got people. fiber and it doesn't break down. And you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So exactly. Let's <laughs> start. So it has your little dot dot dots yeah. when you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, so corn, corn. I mean, listen. It fiber does, isn't you fiber know what supposed it, to make you use a bathroom? If it does, why doesn't it? So it, that's it like the, the <laughs> most. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the most uncomfortable conversation anybody can have with their professional, you know, yeah. your your health professional, whether it's your nutritionist or your doctor or whatever it is that you're having. But we all go at the end of the day, so it is a part of that's what, what we do. Yeah, I start my day going. <laughs> I can't, the day's not going to go well if I don't start at least <laughs> twice before I leave the house. So <laughs> it's it, a great it, conversation it, for it, me. Is, <laughs> it is part of us. So I always recommend, and I ask about it. I ask, are you constipated? Are you having any problems? Why? Because this is also letting me know what I have to do. Do is I it? have to add more fiber? Do I have to have more water in your diet? We all tend to forget about that. Yeah. So it... it What happens with fiber, if actually, if you have fiber alone, like for example, your benefit fiber, your whatever it is you want to call it, and you add it to your diet and you don't add water, you're actually doing it counterproductive for your health. Why? Because wherever fiber goes, it pulls water. So you're dehydrating your body. You need to drink a lot of water in order for that fiber to work and does do what it's supposed to do. You hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like retaining a lot of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So hit us with what, what, what's for dinner. For Now we're dinner. At dinner. What's so for dinner? For dinner, we have a penne pasta, which is a red lentil pasta, and this has um, ground beef with some vegetables. Same kind of your sofrito type of thing, you know, okay. with your the Trinity. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 what is it? So you have be you have. Um, peppers onions um in there and what i like about it it's it's just it's a really easy substitute like what we're talking about like you're still having pasta it's just you're not having your regular pasta so you're having red lentil pasta what does that do that increases the amount of protein that you're having throughout the day so the pasta itself is made with red, red lentils, lentils. Wow. yes 
you tend to find those on your, you know, healthy aisles. Um, so that's when I, I love exploring different things. I, if I, I go to, if I go to the supermarket, it's like, I'm in a candy store. I just had a conversation, um, with the wife uh, today, I think we were talking about getting, finding some better options. Yes. We love pasta. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brown rice pasta is really good. Um, and there's, they come in every shape and form now. Um, it used to be harder to find them. Now they're everywhere in any pretty much any supermarket like you don't have to have go to whole foods to find it i grew up in my house we had rice with pasta (laughs) that is insane oh my god yes it's like you had you know your mom made your como la carne with a like Mm -hmm. a with a um, penny or whatever pasta whatever pasta and they should serve you white rice like but then when you learn about this like holy shit all those carbs and starch Mm -hmm. yeah so that's 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 kind of the issue it's most of us we start eating our meals and it's carb loaded so i try to control that and again it's about substitutions you're still having pasta you're still having your you know i think it's classical that i use for this one it whatever bread sauce you like it's fine yeah i think it's classical i had um lentil pasta really Mm -hmm. mm-hmm It eats exactly the like same. regular pasta. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not yes, like it does. wheat pasta. That it's yeah, wheat grainy. Yeah. But this one is now. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So in in this is again this is so I tend to cook. I don't. I love cooking, but I am not gonna cook every day. All right. I sorry, Steve. It, sorry everybody. Never my kids. <laughs> like not even for myself. And it's just it's not that I don't like it. It's just that. I don't have the time to sit down and like be in the kitchen is 24/7. It just me, but is there a hint of curry? I tasted. Uh, not that I know of. No. Maybe just so you may be. You're so on the meat, I have um, barbecue sauce. I also have um, a vegetable ketchup. Mm-hmm. Um, so you may be having a little bit of hints of a lot of different flavors. Vegetable What's vegetable ketchup? So it's... Is it tom- I don't know, tomatoes with fruit, so, so I guess... Uh, so you have... Um, it's made by... Oh my God, why am I blanking out? True, True Maids, I think it is. True I'll look up I'll look up the name and I'll, I'll let you guys know because complete, I'm completely blanking it's out. It's Mayo Ketchup. Bad for you. <laughs> Mayo Ketchup. So mayo cachu is really good. Depends on what you're having it with. Um, and again, it's just amount. Why? Because mayo tends to be fatty, um, and ketchup has to tends to have a lot of sugar. sugar. So two things that we have to watch. And then again, when we use mayo ketchup, we don't use a lot of it. We use a lot Speaking of it. Speaking of mayo ketchup, did you make it to a uh, Colombian hot dog today? No, I was also, mad you didn't as go hell. Back. No, I didn't go back. <laughs> I was mad as hell. Shout out stand- to uh, Colombian hot dog. Yeah, shout out yep. to Colombian hot dog. Even though I didn't get to make it over there, <laughs> um, Dave and I were hanging out today. Uh, we found a new Saturday spot. I'm just saying, don't get jealous, Vito. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> we found a new Saturday spot, but I remember last week? It was oh, let's go to let's go to. Uh, Colombian hot dog, right? Because I was like, oh, I don't know where to go to eat. And um, I should have known, like, I should have expressed, like, I don't know where to go eat for dinner with my wife. Uh Right? So I was like, oh, I don't know where to go to eat later. He goes, oh, dude, let's go to the Colombian hot dog. That's fine. And then, like, as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, I I, I mean with my wife. I'm sorry. (laughs) He he looked devastated, though. He looked devastated. He goes, oh, oh, all right. I told him, I said, but I still go with you if you want. Like, I, you I know, don't I want felt, a pity buddy. I felt bad. He goes, nah, I'm good. <laughs> so, turns out he did end up going. So did I. You did. So, <laughs> so, so this, was, is, this is what happened. <laughs> I, I saw you guys at the market that day. Uh-huh, and then yep. I just kept, you know, because I'm on Instagram and whatever. And I keep seeing David. And I'm looking at his, <laughs> at his stuff. And I'm like, yo. Yeah, he's not hard to miss. Those, I'm like, those fries look damn good. So you win. I I didn't even go. I was in bed already. You kidding me? I said my oh. husband. <laughs> so then, so you, you you end up going. So then yesterday, today, today. Wow, today's still Saturday. Oh, sorry, we're supposed to be on here on Monday. My bad. <laughs> but uh, I went today, and I was like, went over on the scooter, you know, 
fat guy in a little coat type thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm on a scooter. I get over at my Jordan Stratford, go all the way down towards Seaside Park on a scooter, and I'm under the Vidoc, and I'm like, I don't see the Colombian hot dog. <laughs> yo, he called me. Yo, I called him. I was like, yo, there's no Colombian hot dog down here. You told me there was. He goes, dude, at six o'clock. What's wrong with you? I'm like, oh crap. It's only like three, three, three o'clock. o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't get to make it because I left. <laughs> yeah, when I left back on the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and and the hot yeah, no, they ain't get no hot dog or nothing. I was mad. Oh, I did have gone have been first out. in line, man. I Wait, should. I thought I would have waited until six. <laughs> no, I'll be, I was already Three home. Hours. <laughs> I went to Pantanal, got some churrasco over at Pantanal, and uh, went home and laid out. Then I had to wait. How much wife. did it weigh? The f- a pound and a half. Pound and a half. Cooked or uncooked? Cooked. Well, Pretty the sizable. Tray, right? The tray, right? The, the yeah. buffet <laughs> setup. Aha. I like to listen. I like Go to. Out. I like to trick myself. Okay. Right. It's a pound and a half. That's quite a bit of food, right? Yes. But I get the really small tray. <laughs> I get the really small tray, and just Slowly like the chinos up. do, pack I pack it, it in, in. <laughs> pack it in, so I don't feel like I'm eating too much. You know what I mean? But halfway through, I'm like, oh man, I'm full. <laughs> like, I, I can't. Um, but let's act like you didn't hear that, all right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. I, I, you know, one of the tricks that I've used myself, and because it worked on myself, I use it with my clients. I always say, when you're eating and you're really enjoying your food, that's great. Now, have two bites, put the fork down. Sorry. Put the fork down. You want to know why? Because we tend to shove our food in. That's me. And either because we don't have time or we're just so used to just eating, eating nice. and yeah. not even thinking about what yeah. we're doing. So that's the problem with doing different things. Like, for example, when you're watching TV and eating, it's not the, well, there's a couple of things. Yes, you are sitting down. Yes, you're consuming calories. But it's not so much that. It's the distraction. Right. So when you are not savoring your food, when you're not taking a deep breath and saying, okay, let me get this feedback from my body. How much am I actually eating? How much do I actually need? And when we actually sit down and put the fork down, have two bites, it's all good. Also too, then, like after to uh, take a drink of water. Or something. So it really depends. Some people like it. Some people don't. Mm-hmm. So I don't even suggest it. It's, if you like it, great. Drink water. It does help you feel fuller. Um, but some people are like, no, I don't drink water till I'm done. Great. No problem. Put your fork down still. I don't care. Put it down. Have two bites. Put it down. Have two bites. What does that make you? That makes you pause and think, am I full? Am I not full? Cause then it happens. What happened to you? You overeat and you're like, oh man, I remember till this day, I was like 14, I think, or something. My mom had made chofan. I ate so much of it. And mm. I was laying down in bed and I had to sit up. I thought I was going to die. And I was like, oh, my God, I completely overate. Oh, that happens often. Yes. <laughs> and it's because of that because we don't think. We don't think what we're doing. We just keep putting it in, putting it in. What happens? Our, our stomach acts like a muscle. You can stretch it. And then it will just send that sensation of I'm full when it gets to that point. Yeah, it takes I, like 10 minutes. I think, I think for I think, I think it's a. Uh, I work in a school during the day, like I've said that a million times, but I think it is also something that we get accustomed to mm-hmm. in the school systems here, mm-hmm. where you have your half an hour, mm-hmm. but your half an hour is taken up with a good 10 to 15 minutes of waiting in the line, mm-hmm. especially at a school of my size, the school that I have is 1,200 students, mm-hmm. four lunch waves, so 300 some odd students going in each lunch wave, mm-hmm. so you figure 10 to 15 minutes for them to get their food. They probably have 10 minutes to eat their food, but they're kids, so they're going to talk, Mm -hmm. right? So they're trying to stuff their face as quick as possible, and then like five or or 10 minutes or whatever to leave, Mm -hmm. you know, to line up and get out. So like you become accustomed to that, and then you go into the workplace, you work an eight-hour day, and boom, they give you a half an hour, and Mm -hmm. if you didn't prep your meals, which we try to prep as much as we can, but Mm -hmm. if you didn't prep your meal, you're going to stop at this place, stop at that place. And end up with a skimpy-ass steak and cheese. Yo, did you, did you see that post? We were going to talk. We'll talk about that after. Cause okay. We'll talk about that after. We'll talk about it after. So, um, go ahead, but, go ahead. but you know, that's, that's, that's the hard part. So mm-hmm. I think for a lot of us, I think that part of it for me is like, I don't want to spend the whole half an hour, half an hour eating my food mm-hmm. the whole time, taking it yeah. easy. I want to scarf it down. And then I want to be able to like, just chill for the, le- the rest Socialize, of the time to try right. to 
Nah, don't talk to me during my lunch <laughs> breaks. Like, I'm dead serious. I hate when people talk to me during my lunch. Like, yeah. I'm with you all day. Like, I don't want to talk to you during my one half an hour that I get to do whatever I want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you know, and, and that's hard. But yeah. that's a good thing to do is to stop it. Yeah, and if you have to like do that, then do it. But then this is when I would, would do portion control. So take your meal, measure it before you even get to that point. Because then when it's done, it's done. You have no more. And you'll get to that point. It, it, it's a learning process to do that with your body. It is not easy. But if you work at it every single day, you get there. Mm. And we all do it. I mean, trust me, I've stuffed myself. And I starve myself sometimes. Same thing. Oh, I'm busy with the kids or whatever. Or, you know, me baking or whatever it is that I'm doing. And it just gets busy and then I'll forget. Or I'll eat while I'm doing something else. But even then, I take a break and I'm like, okay, do I? Am I really hungry? Yeah. Or am I just eating? Another thing that tends to happen a lot is when people get home, they're like, oh, that's my worst time. Yeah. And I'm like, well, there's a couple of things. What happened with that is, one, you're home, so you're comfortable. Two, you have access to food. Three, you probably did not eat or drink throughout the day. So another thing is, our thirst and our hunger center in our brain is in the same spot. So we tend to confuse being thirsty with being hungry. And what happened also is food in itself has water, but it doesn't have enough to hydrate you. Mm. So what you tend to do is like, okay, well, I'm eating. Yes, this is great, but that's not what you wanted. You wanted water. So you keep eating, trying to satiate that need of water. I always say, if you don't know which one it is, drink water first, okay. figure it out. You still hungry? Great. Eat. You're supposed to. How much water does dessert have in it? <laughs> <laughs> Mine, very little. Very Alcohol, little. Alcohol, we can talk so about. So, can I try that? Mm -mm -mm. Wait, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, so, hold on. Let's David. Close, yep. So, let's close yes. uh, with Carambola. Carambola Nutrition. Carambola Nutrition. Please, um, for those listening, how can they get a hold of you with any of these uh, nutritional questions? So, yes. So, we are in uh, Facebook on Carambola Nutrition and also on Instagram at Carambola Nutrition. Um, I also have a brand new website that I launched and it's uh, carambolanutrition.com. You can message me there. Um, my phone number is there. Text me, whatever it is. I, I'm pretty good with emails. It's carambolanutrition at gmail.com. And I'm pretty good with replying. And if you have a question, if you want to inquire about plans, um, and I do consultations one on one too. Um, and everything, it, I don't even have an office, so everything that I do is virtual. And again, it's through the Healthy app. You log in and you see me wherever you are. So if you have that half hour and you decide to talk to me, I'm there. Why are you at Manny? I know. Why is she <laughs> like? She's looking at me with that, la me with that Latina mm -mm -mm -mm. neck swirl, mm -mm. like. Yeah, you yeah, you have to call yeah. me next week because I don't like what I'm hearing, <laughs> no, and it's not gonna happen I've like had, that. It's gonna take a whole <laughs> lot of uh, play. Out. I've had people change what they eat when they're they go out with me, and mm -hmm. I I'm like, no, eat whatever you want. You don't have to feel embarrassed. I eat. so everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna order a salad, and I'm like, okay, great. I want not the salad. Oh, trust me, I don't ever feel embarrassed. That's Vito Good. at the farmer's market. Walk up to his walk up to his breakfast thing holding an empanada in one hand, a kebab in the other hand, and trying to hold hot sauce in the middle. <laughs> Let me get a girl with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So let's let's talk. about let's introduce. Uh, was that Doctor Jekyll? Who? Which one's Mister Hyde? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> the so that, that was that was Carambola. Carambola. Uh, nutrition. Talking yes. about the food, the different types of stuff that we have. And mm. as I mentioned before, I asked if there was water in of desserts because now we're going to move on to your second business. Yes. Which is, it's, it's almost like a dirty little secret, right? Mm -hmm. A little nutrition. Real quick yes. story, right? I, read, <laughs> yes. I, 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 I went to um, a cottage law, a class that was. Um, food labeling. S food labeling. Yes. Uh, that was run by the CDP, right? Uh, customer it, it, protection. It, it, consumer protection. Department of so, Consumer yeah. Protection. They hosted the class and and I I followed Carambola Nutrition because I wanted to get somebody on the show uh, locally from in this area and so and I guess I saw a picture of her in her account and I see her the in one the, picture. the one picture so she's sitting in that class I'm like I know that person and I said like, she looks like 
the person I saw on mm-hmm. that account. Sounds kind of stalkerish. It, it does, right? <laughs> I walk up to her and I say, yo, are you um, Carambola um, Nutrition? And she was like, she looks so I was she looked like shocked. She was exposed. She's I, like, I, I usually don't like people. <laughs> Because you know what it is? Because I was there for my other business. So I don't go there, introduce that. myself, and I'm like, oh, she yeah. she was there for the, you know, for her. The cup Mari- sweets. <laughs> sweets. Sweets by Mariela. By Mariela. Yes. Um, so the backstory on that is while I was doing um, nutrition at Columbia, I was pregnant. I was home. I had just moved to Connecticut. I used to live in, in the city. And um, By the way, hold on real quick. What position is, are the meds in? Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot to ask about the. So mask. that's what kind of the face that you saw that day. That's the same face I'm making right now. Oh, uh, the same face. Oh, uh, uh, FYI, talking about the hurting. Mets. Um, uh, our host has a new name, and I want him to go by this name for now on. So we're gonna call him this for now, Mr. Jalapeno Mr. Sauce. Jalapeno. That is his new name. He was dubbed Mr. Jalapeno Sauce by the daughter of the hot sauce mayor. At the who's, farmer's who market, who was talking me to buy a, <laughs> her painting, the <laughs> fifteen dollar painting, but you got a deal for thirty three percent off, and he got it for ten dollars. So, <laughs> Mister su- Jalapeno uh, I sauce, I was supporting a young entrepreneur there. That's right. Yeah, yeah you got suckered by. A f- <laughs> <laughs> Can, let, let Mariela continue, please. So, <laughs> what happened was, um, I started just you know, YouTubing videos, and I see this lady. They're creating cookies. And I'm like, well, that looks like fun. And I'm like, I have all that stuff. Let me start. So next thing I know, that turned into me wanting to perfect what I was doing. And I made um, cookies for a friend of mine for her daughter's birthday. And everyone's like, oh, my God, those cookies are so cute and they're delicious. And I'm like, hmm, maybe there's a business here. So I started um, looking up a cottage food law. It was still in the process at that time. Um, so I didn't pursue it per se. I kept just doing it for friends and just perfecting what I was doing. And then as soon as the cottage food was approved and you could apply for the license, I was one of the first online. Um, I got my license back in November of last year. Look at that. And it was like in October. Like yes. Or, yeah. <coughs> number th- yeah, my had... license is number 31 yeah. um, in the state. I want to say so the was... first few episodes we had here yes. on the Late Night Potluck show, we actually spoke about it, but there wasn't that much information, information. for us to get, and we were kind of confused. But So now that's actually enacted. And mm-hmm. Can you just touch real quick on a couple of the basis? of uh what the cottage food law is now that it's a fully active uh program yeah so cottage food um it's uh technically what you can do is you can make foods at home to sell um so what they do is you have low foods that have low um acidity or even though i think they're trying to do fermented stuff now um especially because texas just started um doing that and what happens is you can do a lot it's a big range of things that you can do at home to sell it's just that you have to get approved they they you have to do your test your water if you're unwell if you're city water you don't necessarily have to do it um you have to let them know what you're doing your ingredients your recipes it's a it's a whole process but it's definitely worth it especially for people that are trying to look to to make something from their own home to kind of have like a second income um like for example i when i switched from you know working four days a week five days a week and going to an actual office to work i stayed at home and that's when i started my business at home and then this kind of just jumped in um and that's what the cottage food lets you do it lets you do stuff at your own house and still have an income um you do have to go through a lot of process and now i think it's going slower than it did when they first started um because even then they were a little bit unclear um i was talking to somebody that was also applying and she's in even in another part of connecticut and when we were talking we both applied the same day and we both got different people reviewing an application and she got something completely different that was asked for her to submit than i did now it's a little bit more standard which is good um so you do have to go through a little bit of hoops in there but it is worth it if you're looking to do something from home um, you can bake, you can do other type of things. She had to so. jump through a few tolls to get to uh, yeah. where she needed to get here. 
So let's let's fulfill Manny's needs here. For what? I'm not needs. I told you, I'm not a huge sweets person. I just want to try them out. We see what we got. I see yes. something over there that seems like I would really like. So rustic coconut. I right. so I love being challenged. So what I did is this is called coconete. coconete. So coconete is a um, coconut cookie that is from Dominican Republic, and this one today I made gluten free and vegan. Um, so you don't have eggs, you don't have dairy, and you don't have your wheat flour. Man, Marsha's missing out all the awesome vegan options, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I thought of her, so yeah. shout out to her. Um, I love you, Marsha. So we have, um, so that's what I did for that part. And the other side over there, you do have two other different desserts. You have a um, tiramisu mousse. In a white chocolate and passion fruit liqueur tres leches cake. Oh. You said, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. You said a what? Hold on. So it's a white. I love mm-hmm. passion fruit. Yes. Parcha so. or maracuja for mm-hmm. those that. Chinola um, in Dominicano. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys say it in Dominican? Chinola. 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 See? But passion fruit. Yes. I'm passionate for passion yes. fruit. Yes. Say so that again. It, what is that? It's a white chocolate and passion fruit liqueur. Passion tres fruit. leches. <laughs> I like the way R- Riel says it. Like, passion fruit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he puts passion. So that dessert, actually, I completely created it up in my head. And I was like, I need to do something because I was... And this is something you wanted to touch on. So I was participating yesterday on a competition. Come on, you better, you better say it, girl. Go yes, ahead. Yes, it's the second annual dessert competition up in Hawkridge Winery. And I won first place with that Congratulations. Dessert. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. She won Thank first you. place. Yes, this is the winning did. dessert. Yeah. It is the winning dessert. It is the winning dessert. Wow. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So, yes. so hit us with these little. Fa- this what I, t- I said. No, no, no. Don't say nothing now. Like I want yes. save it for the show because that's dope. Hit us with those statistics that you were. Uh, so there a was bit more earlier. there were nine content- contestants and I kind of took a little peek on the numbers when I was writing down my address and I took about forty percent of the votes. Forty percent of the votes. Yeah. Wow. Which is crazy. That sounds like. <laughs> It's crazy. That's a landslide. Um, I, I'm very humbled from the experience, um, especially because this is the I created myself. Um, I was trying to think because with the ticket at for the competition for the voters, they would get a glass of wine. So I'm like, okay, we know we all be drinking. We all be over 21. What can I do that could pair with either what white, red, or rosé? Mm. So it was a challenge, mm. and I knew I didn't want to do regular chocolate. Cause, and there was a few desserts there that already had chocolate in and, and I imagine a lot of people were going to tend to go into that. But I feel like I feel like regular chocolate is more like a red wine. It is a red wine. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to stay away from it. Mm. Um, and I wanted something that was not going to be insulting to the palate, depending mm. on what type of wine you were having. So I did talk to um, so, uh, one of the groups that I baker groups that I'm a part of and they came gave me a couple of ideas but I had had this passion fruit liqueur that I saw at the liquor store and I was like hmm this is interesting and I had made a tres leches uh, with kalua in it so I'm like why not so and then I was like well if I want to incorporate chocolate it's got to be white chocolate so I made a white chocolate cake and then the tres leches which is you know evaporated milk condensed milk and regular milk and then I added a little bit of passion fruit liqueur to it, and it came up. And it's it's gonna make good. me seem kind of hypocritical, huh? Like, yes. Like, I'm not a big sweets person. The moment she said passion I had, fruit, I got a little too darn yes, excited. I like, had, you heard that legend. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, my passion fruit. It's the okay. passion yeah, passion fruit. Uh, dude, I had I a lady yesterday, and she, you could tell she was with a couple of friends, and she's like, "No, I don't want to try it. I'm not a sir person." And I was like, just try it. And if you don't like it, it's, you know, like I won't get insulted. Not everybody likes sweets. Yeah. So she had it and her eyes just turned. Oh. And I was like, whoa. Okay. And I said, that made my day. Wow. And she waited till the end to wait to who was announced. And when I was announced as a winner, she came and gave me a hug. So I don't know her name, but it made my day yesterday. Passed it was beautiful. puppies over here. Mm-hmm. Congratulations! Thank oh, you, awesome. thank you. Take first a place. Let's yes. see. Our, let's try with the coconetes first. No, so here we go. Yeah, let me see what this is all about because I know Dave wants to try some of this stuff. 
I am also participating in the Swedish Bakery of America. Yes. So what that is is a contest where um, people can vote daily for their um, Swedish Bakery, and I am currently first place also there. Yes. <laughs> On uh, and the state of Connecticut, not nationally. I am, after all, a cottage food operator. <laughs> um, so um, I have um, first place in the full line bakery. Did you guys give one to V? Oh, I'm gonna get it He's taking pictures and stuff. I'm taking cute little pictures over here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know I take the weird photos. Hey, did you guys peep that photo? Who's, whose page was it? Was it UV or was it Dave? Feeding him. When Definitely we're feeding him. each other. Yep. I Heck yeah. Picture. Why do I feel like I've seen that too? I, I, you were I there know. the day that I don't know if you saw it. was it at the market. Or, no, yeah, I saw the, the picture. I saw the picture. Yeah, and, and Dave, but like Dave kept mis, uh, misquoting where it was from. Like we did the whole like arm wrap. And he was like, let's do the lady in the tramp. And I'm like, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing the spaghetti kiss. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> said, Dave, I know we're friends, but we can't. Uh, that's that's a little too far. I don't want to be. I knew he liked the legend. <laughs> <I was getting laughs> all right. Well, I, first of all, it, the coconut smells amazing. Thank you. So. Oh, my boy over there, he just he just did the Holy Cross over there. He was. <laughs> he said, "Oh, by the way, if you guys." Or watching a YouTube channel or watching IGTV. Uh, every now and then you'll hear me like ask a question or comment and nobody responds because talking to my buddy Dearis over there who's sitting in on our show today. He's uh, checking us out and, and, and enjoying the food in the process. What do you think, Rio? But, oh, oh. It's so damn good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The middle part is the soft part, but I yes. like the contrast from the oh outer God. part. Yes. This is so good. It's not it's not so the, it is not overpoweringly sweet. No. So I'm the brown crazy. sugar will do that. Because the uh -huh. brown sugar will caramelize on the outside, but it will still be soft in yeah, the middle. Yeah, it's like you start with it. And you side. have like coconut shavings, and mm -hmm. it will do the same thing. Yeah. Because the middle will still stay soft. Actually, when you bake them, you have to let them cool before you move them because they will break. Mm. Oh. Vegan and oh. gluten free? Yes, sir. No way, you're lying. Mm -hmm. Well, the label is right there. As part of a cottage food operator, I'm vegan. I do have to I'm put a, a label vegan. on it. So, um, where can we order these cookies? So you can definitely go online to sweetsbymariella.com. I do participate on a farmers market on Thursdays for the Trumbull Farmers Market. Okay. Um, so I'm there. I do not bring vegan items every week. I'm not there every week either, but. Um, I definitely try to hit everybody. And again, it's one of the things that kind of I like pairing with my other job is I like having sweets for everybody. Why? Because it life, it's all about balance. So you can definitely have sweets, even if you're food restricted, whether that is gluten free or vegan or because you can have added sugar or whatever it is, we'll, we'll work it out. Um, we have the one? No, there's a whole there's other, a whole other right one there. over here. Don't yeah. Well, touch it. It's sold. It's <laughs> sold. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, oh, hey. this is good. I don't know if you did. We ask or I don't remember. Where, where can they find those? So online at sweetsbymariel.com at the farmers market or most of my orders are custom orders. So you can definitely he he's saying. enjoying. I, it. I don't know whether I. <laughs> he's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you can definitely um, again call me. It is the same phone number for both my businesses. So I will ask you which one you're calling me for. Um, I'd like to be a customer of this one. <laughs> yes, you know what it is. It. I always say it, it really, I work with you, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, do you want to get fat oh. or do you want to get skinny, huh? <laughs> you, can, you, you can still have sweets. It's yes, just really, thanks. again, the amount. I do sometimes, depending on what your goal is and how many calories you have take left. Pictures. This is so, so I, cute. Thank you. Um, I do add sweets sometimes um, for you. Like if you tell me, hey, look, I'm really craving that sweet at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, okay, we can work something out. And I'll, like, I will okay. try to put it in. Um, it may not be, you know, your mountain chocolate cake, but it may be something that you can definitely still have within your calories. So I was thinking of even mixing this with this one <gasps> on top. 
So you can definitely. So you know what? Now that you say that, you can still add um, coconut. I would definitely go with unsweetened coconut no, to add uh, like with the breakfast. With breakfast. Um, yes, but you can still add it. Um, and then you would add a little bit of fat in in the to the, sorry, to the breakfast. So that would work. So I don't know about you guys. You guys can <laughs> dig into. Like in these bowls, she's just like <laughs> captain. So that is the tres leches, the one you yeah, have. Giving orders, thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we're all going to end it. Um, y'all, first first of all, well, you guys can battle on that because there's about four. There's four of each. Yes. Of so y'all going to have to share. I'm just going to take this one, but let just one uh, for myself. Yo, and these are definitely fancy. Like, listen to this. Yes, I digged into like, my little. She's got legit oh. little spoons. Mm-hmm. So don't throw these out. No, don't throw those out. <laughs> legit right. little those are washable. Those, those are real. So listen, do you do birthdays, weddings? So I try to stay away from weddings. Um, they tend to be bigger unless there's like a small wedding. Okay. Um, again, just because of time managing and what I can actually do. It is a one woman show. Okay. Um, but I do birthday cakes. I do sweets. I actually didn't even bring it, but I do make um, custom cookies. And that's how everything started. Okay. Um, so I do custom cookies. Um, you can definitely see them. I post a lot about that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love being challenged. Like right. I even make gluten-free decorated cookies. Mm. Any fondant work? I do work with fondant. Um, I the, the thing about fondant, it, it's really good to decorate. Yeah. And you have a lot of um, like thing different things that you can do and the only issue with fondant is most people don't like it because of the taste right um so it if you like it and you want me to make it i'll make it for you no problem i guess uh my wife used to do the, the cupcakes with the fondant you know like the cake toppers yes and, yep and, you know birthday yeah. themes mm-hmm. and, yeah. yeah i i make um i i again i there's very little i say no to i try to Give it a try at least once, and if I can't do it, then <laughs> is it good? Which one's this one? That is the tres leches. So that's the white chocolate. Passion? Yes, with the passion. I'm not a fan of passion fruit, but I don't taste it. Because it's not overpowering. Because you yeah, only exactly. have the liqueur, and you have very mm-hmm. little of it. I mean, it you can still taste it, but oh, yeah, it's very not. Good. There's something not, different. Yeah. You, sometimes you don't associate, but not, you mentioned passion this fruit. Yes. Once you know that it's there, you yeah. can taste it. If you don't know, it's not hitting I'm you in sorry. the face. If you don't know, I don't care. You it's need, it's not hitting you in the face with it. Yes. You need to follow Sweets by Maria. Oh, you know what? Also, Carambola. But, you it's know, okay. It's okay but, if you follow me on one and not the other. I, I don't judge. Whatever it is. But this like is she amazing. said, same number for both. You want to get fat, you want to get skinny. What do you want? Yes. That's it. So, yeah, have it both so, ways. Yes. So, do you get comments that way? Like, how can you reconcile both? So, again, it's just... It, 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 at the end of the day, it's, you know, it is a business. So, okay. whichever it is that you want me to do for you, I okay. will do. You want me to make you a cake? I'll make you a cake. I don't judge. I don't judge an either nice. business. I don't judge you when you're my client as a nutrition. Like, if you step out of the diet, no problem. If you want me to make you something and you want me to bake you, no problem. I've actually have clients, they've been both. They've been both, okay. They've been both. They've been happy, I guess. Yes, they've been very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this I'm sorry. Part. You're probably here. This, the, Dave, you're probably gonna be mad at me when the recording comes out here and all this camera flash. I know. <laughs> this like, is. I mean, this is probably. Dave didn't breathe as he was <laughs> eating that. That's the quietest I've ever heard of him. I forgot we weren't doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we're coming to a wrap this up. Yep. One more time. How can they follow you? So they can follow me at um, Carambola Nutrition, and they can also follow me at Sweets by Mariella. Um, and I'm on Instagram and Facebook for both of them. And both of them have websites, sweetsbymariela.com, carambolanutrition.com. And um, you can also email me and either at sweetsbymariela at gmail.com or carambolanutrition at gmail.com. Nice. I am very reachable. Thank you. Any uh, events that's coming up? Uh, any shout outs you want to give? So, um, what can I think? What's coming up? So, I do have um, 
a couple of things coming up for both businesses. One is I am going to have um, a fall reset. I did it last year and I had a lot of success with the clients um, for a fall reset. What is that? That is a um, eight week um, plan that you follow with me in two different, um, you can do it a four week or you can do an eight week. And then what you do, um, I send you meal plans every Fridays for you to start your plan on Monday. And it's usually a group, so you're not doing it alone. Um, we have a Facebook group that we everybody joins and you know posts what they're having, if they're having issues, whatever it is. Um, and I tend to do that um, probably it's gonna be for October. That way you're ready for the holidays. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, you got to fit in that beautiful dress for Christmas. And then for uh, my other business for Sweet Time Mariel, I have a couple things coming up. Um, some fall cookies coming. Your pumpkin is coming out. Nice. Um, yeah, so I have that Lo coming. Bueno. I have also um, a couple partnerships I'm working with. And I'm very excited about that. So just follow me on social media and you'll see them. Yeah. Okay. I'm super That's duper awesome. excited about that. And just for the record, hot sauce is good for the nutrition. Hot sauce is great because it adds a lot of flavor without adding a lot of calories. It's fermented. It also helps too, right? Mm -hmm. Probiotics. Yes. You can definitely Get that look. Damn angry sauce. Look, you can definitely. You know what it is? Food can be bland and it can be good. It really depends on what you play with. Spices. I always say spices are free. You can use how much spices you want to make whatever it is that you're making taste good for you. If you want to put a little bit of, um, so for example, I used a lot of sage for the, for the um, sure. shrimp, and it was still good. Yeah. I could have used less, but I wanted to use a lot <laughs> because <laughs> I love sage. Um, so it's just a, you can definitely, and I actually put hot sauce on a lot of things now. Okay. I used to not be um, hot, and I, I I love your hot sauce. Thank you, thank you. V, what's going on? Any shout outs? <coughs> oh boy, he's pulling out his cell phone. Oh my god, he's gonna have a whole list of people. Are we gonna thank everybody that works at your bodega? It's one thing. <laughs> um, this month on uh, September 14th, the North End Tennis Association is having a free tennis clinic for the community, ages five and up. Um, Adorfo doing it. No, he is definitely not. Okay. No comment. <laughs> no, um, Tyson Adams, he's a security guard for the Border Ed. But um, the theme of this is um, suicide awareness and mental health. And, you know, recently we, somebody we knew passed, um, fortunately, from a suicide. So, you know, just to be aware of it, you know, pass the word, anybody needs a hand, um, somebody to talk to, you know. We gotta be, be more conscious of that because mm -hmm. you could be smiling in your face, but deep down inside, you know, going through some things. So, um, again, it's September 14th. He's gonna have some people there for awareness. I'm doing some stuff for people to come out. So, if anybody wanna come out, registration is at 1:30, and the time starts at two from two to four. It's right there um, in Bridgeport, the ice skating ring, the tennis courts there. Um, Tennis Vice. courts, one lane of ice, Glenwood Park, I believe Glenwood it's called. Park, that's exactly uh, Glenwood Park, yeah. So what do they have to bring? Nothing. Have to bring nothing. Nothing, nothing. just if themselves. You're, you're, okay. If you're a parent, just come sign your child in. Um, they'll be there for a couple of hours, you know, doing some activities, to learn some tennis. Ping pong rackets are not tennis rackets. Leave them home. <laughs> I mean, if they're your size, they are. Unless you're smacking food in your mouth. Hey, I use, he was talking about shoveling food, and I use real shovels to get food in my mouth. So, <laughs> hey, I just want to touch on that topic. I don't know if it's the same individual that, yes, that you know, but, you know, that's, it's sensitive. It's not the first person that I've lost to that. So, it's sensitive to me, and, uh, you know, I'm very serious about this. Just like I said, reach out. Just reach out seriously, and uh, I'm open. I don't care if I know you or not. You just need somebody to talk to. Reach out. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Follow me on the reach out to Dave or whatever and have him give you my number or I don't care. Just reach out. I'd rather. Just for your information, Dave is really not angry. He's really not. He it's just, he kind of looks like, yeah. He's a big teddy bear. Yeah, he uh, is. Yeah, he thank won't. You guys. He won't invite you nowhere, but he'll yeah, listen to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, reach out, please. I'd rather listen to you for a while than have to listen to a eulogy like I had to uh, this week. So. Do, do that. Do yourself a favor and everything. 
Love you guys, man. Real? You got anything? Nothing much going on. I'm just working on some fall flavors. So watch out. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, love the kick, na- kick snacks. Right? Love the kick snacks on Instagram. All right. Huh? Put my hand up. Good to Uh Oh, yeah. For Vito, you can, you can find them at... Um, so well, his photo- let's go. We have to go through about twenty eight pages right now. Hold on. <laughs> so you can have, you can find him at, at element elements of illusion photo booth. You are, I mean, you got like thirteen different that's pages. Facebook. All right, that's the <laughs> Facebook. All right, you know what? You come back no, no, over no. here and explain this because you got look thirteen, fourteen right, different so handles. I have a couple of different businesses. Um, <laughs> so I'm I tell you. you two of them um one of them is my photography business we do photos videos and we do have a photo booth and instagram is at e- at eoi global um if you want any package or anything is elementsofillusion.com and for my cooking services um i might start doing private parties who knows um it's underscore chef underscore v and that's on instagram i don't have a facebook uh facebook for that yet but i don't know we'll see Alright guys, <laughs> follow me at Dave's Angry Sauce um, and check out the website davesangrysauce.com uh, Follow the late night the podcast at Late Night Potluck Show both on Instagram and Facebook uh, Look for us um, on YouTube We are on iTunes, Spotify and SoundCloud Everything And uh, the Gorilla pod, uh, Podcast The so. GPN app Find us on there again <clears throat> oh, yeah, And you can find my uh Underscore Dale Fridge is my personal page slash food blog and stuff. And then you can find my strictly Bridgeport f- food blogging page at Bridgeport Bikes. You want to plug in uh, your boy's podcast? Oh, yeah. So, my buddy that we were talking about earlier, you could turn that around. Um, his name is Dearest. We used to call him Big Meech in high school. Big Meech. Brought him over here to come check us out at the Late Night Potluck Show. Hope he enjoyed. He definitely got a full belly. He got to enjoy the food. But I'm going to let him... You know, he's thinking about joining the GPN and, uh, you know, it's like gang gang or whatever. Gang gang. <laughs> but, you know, he I'll let him talk real quick about his uh, his podcast that he's got going on. Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Dears, like uh, Manny said. Of course um, it is. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to reassure it. Man. Uh, but, yeah, my podcast is uh, the K&Q podcast. Um, right now, um, I'm off of Anchor. So uh, you can find me under K and Q podcast. Um, basically, it's just a talk radio um, where we get down about uh, relationships, about lifestyle, um, growing up. You know, a lot of you know I'm 23, so there's a lot of people my age right now trying to figure out life, trying to figure out advice, and trying to figure out where where to go. I don't know everything. We don't. Nobody knows everything. But you know, everybody wants to have a you know conversation and, and debates and. A little bit about uh, everything, you know, interviews and getting to know everybody. Where can they find you personally so, on social uh, media? You can find me. Um, I'm everywhere, but you can find me on Instagram at uh, the Only King Black. You can find my um, podcast on uh, at the K and Q podcast. I also cook, so that's also why I'm glad I'm here today because I enjoyed everything. But um, my food page is um, the King's Kitchen. Mm. And um, I also have uh, both the podcast and the the kitchen site on um, Facebook. So you can find both of those under the same name, um, The King's Kitchen and uh, the K&Q Podcast. So go ahead, follow him there. um, Support him on his journey as we all are trying to do with each other. Mariela, thank you you, uh, so much um, for coming out great insight on what you do both on your nutrition uh portion adventure and then on your sweets adventure uh i did enjoy them awesome. i you. did enjoy them i can't say i didn't they were amazing. they're good um thank, thank you for all the nutrition information Absolutely. that you gave us That's and all the food that you fed us today oh, yeah. it's the first yeah, complete meal that we got here at yeah. late night follow up i show. just want to yeah first day like first days one worth, whole like, day's one worth one whole day's yeah. worth of food mm-hmm. I don't know. Eminem might uh, have been stepped up. I don't know. <laughs> but thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank, thank you for what you do. Um, uh, Dave, you're going to pay the bill after this? <laughs> <laughs> guys, thank you for listening to the Late Night Thank Pilot you for joining Show. us. Thank you for thank joining you us. Good night.
Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Be sure to join us next time. This is a Gorilla Podcast Network production.